Hello, hello, Tracy with Critters Crochet. I'm just going to sit here and I'm a couple minutes early, but I just want to um, come on and I'm going to wind up some yarn, ball up some yarn while I'm waiting on everybody to log in. <laughs> When you come on, say hello so I know who's here and let me know if you can hear me okay. Hello, hello. I see there's one person. Hope you're having a good night. I can't see whose name it is. <gasps> Tina! Hi, Tina. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Mary. Hello, hello. Can you hear me okay? Is, is the volume coming through all right? Hi, Mary. Can you hear me okay, Mary? As soon as I see, oh, good, 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 good. As soon as I see Shannon from the Spoonie Stitcher, as soon as I see her name, then I will get her invited on here so she can join in. What have you guys been doing today? Staying in from all the rain? <laughs> we have, we have been drenched today. I mean drenched. <sighs> yeah, I didn't go anywhere. I thought for a brief moment, just a brief moment, I thought, hey, Shannon, all right, I'm sending you an invite right now. Be sure and check your email in just a second. Uh, let's see copy and I might you guys you guys may not see me so <laughs> for just a second um rain around five I'm going to invite Shannon I'll be right back I don't know if you guys can still see me on here or not let's see do this real quick All right, back. Shannon, your invite has been sent. Started here in New Jersey in the rain and rained around five. Yeah, I was watching before I got on here. I was watching uh, Llama Mama Kayla and she was showing footage from the flooding around her area in Louisiana. Oh boy, did they get hit hard. Okay. Hopefully Shannon will be able to get on here in just a minute. We're doing something new, guys. I don't know if you saw the live I did with Shannon a few days ago, but 
we got on here and played with StreamYard. And so we're using Stream. There she is. Let me get her added. Hi. Hello, Miss Shannon. <laughs> hello, Hi, hello. Hi. And so we're using StreamYard tonight. If you guys didn't see the live where we were practicing before. <laughs> and um, so this is a new platform for us to use. So we're really excited to be using it. So we've got six people so far. Hi, Tina. Hi. So I'm sorry I'm late. I have been advertising everywhere, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, anywhere I can, because mm -hmm. I cannot do anything until Teresa actually goes live. I can't link anything. So that's why I'm always late, by the way, just so you yeah. know. <laughs> that's fine. I, I appreciate you doing all that work behind the scenes. Woo. It really helps. So, yeah. 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 You all get so. to see my bed. What a great view. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me show you what happened just a little bit ago. Okay. I'm still trying to organize up here. Yeah. My son came over about six o'clock my time. Let me see if I can. I'm going to angle this over. Look what he brought upstairs. He brought my shelves up. Oh, yay! He brought my shelves up, and I've started putting yarn on my shelves. <laughs> yay! <laughs> so, hopefully before, oh, so hopefully before too much longer, I'll be able to do a video where I can show you guys my new, newly organized yarn slash art crafty room. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> nice. So. Mm. <laughs> that is hilarious you guys you're gonna see this through the whole live it's like shannon and i have the same brain or something because we do things at the same time and we say things, say things at, the same at, same time. at the same time like this <laughs> like that <laughs> it just happens y'all it happens <laughs> i am convinced that Teresa and I are part of the same bloodline somehow. Like we are family because we're just too similar. <laughs> we need to do, we need to, whew, I got something on my glasses. We need to uh, do some genealogy research and see if that. I can see what my mom on that. She loves genealogy. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't see a thing. I got to fix it. Hold on. I've got something on my glasses. It's driving me nuts. Okay. Tina That's is me. cracking up. Yeah, oh, good. and there's my son coming in just a second. Yes. Yeah. All right. Say hi to everybody in crochet hi, everybody. land. Hello, crochet land. <laughs> hey, on, you. Love you. See you later. Uh, that tub drops out the door. That is my handsome son, y'all. I'm sorry. The tub drops out the door. <gasps> he carried you carried that up here? The big one? Yes. Well, he he's a keeper, man. <laughs> I love him. He I've got, I don't know if you've seen these. Um they're not rubber made. I don't know what company makes them, but they're and where we got them, I do not know. Massive, huge bins like those rubber made bins, but they're black with a yellow lid. And I mean, they are massively huge. And I just went to, okay. <laughs> Here's how ridiculous, the ridiculous amount of yarn that I have. I filled up one of those. I filled up a regular sized Rubbermaid tub, the big ones. I filled up a duffel bag and a, I don't know if you guys are familiar with 31. They're big, they're oh. big utility totes. Filled yeah. up one of those. And there's still yarn downstairs in bags. You're an amateur. <laughs> amateur it's <laughs> everywhere so yeah i'm gonna have fun organizing all of that but anyway hey how do you guys organize your yarn that's something i'd be curious about well yeah well as far as for me well anybody yeah um i kind of go by color but i also go by their weight like i put all the fours together and all the fives together same um uh, and if it's if it's velvet yarn i put all the velvet or chenille yarns together um, yeah. all the that blanket yarns together. Um, if it's uh DK weight, whatever by weight, I sort I organize them by color and by weight. We'll just say it that way. Okay. That's how I, I do, do I do weight first and then I divide those into colors. Mm -hmm. So that can yeah. 
Yeah. But I don't have a whole lot of certain sizes. So for the for a lot of those, they're just all mixed in because it's, you know, I don't have a lot of that size. So separating them seem kind of silly. Yeah. Yeah. But I have a ton of four weight. My my yarn wall that's usually behind me. Mm -hmm. All four weights. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this this wall back here, I've got like a little niche right here. You can kind of see part of the wall. Yeah. And it goes here and along the back or along whatever. But it's a little niche back this way. And Matt is my son. He's going to put a pegboard up here with little wooden dowels. And I'm going to make yarn cakes and put them up on that wall because I've seen so many people do that. Butterfly. And, I think so and so I, yeah, butterfly. Yep. I want to see it. <laughs> that's why, that's why that's all open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, so he's going to do that at some point and I'm going to get cakes up here and that's going to start being my backdrop and videos. Oh, that's pretty. So I'll be glad to get that done Lisa! too. Hi Lisa. Okay, we are. I can't see how many people there are. I, it's showing six okay. on my end. Um, I'm thinking about putting it all by color and not weight. You could do that. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I, just, I like to. I just like to do mine by weight because then if I've got a certain project that I need a certain weight for, I don't. You know, I can just. <clears throat> excuse me. I can just find it. It's just right there. But. Everybody has their own way of doing it. There's no right and wrong. It's just however work what works for you. Yep. Hey, I'm curious. Anybody who's in the chat, how many of you used our links during the O Fire Oops sale? Did anybody take advantage of it? Yarn decor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Angela. Hello, Angela. Hello, hello. Hello, Teresa. This is so weird being on a live together. <laughs> I know, I know. It's like, okay, what, I, what can we talk about? I don't really want to get into anything until the no. numbers get a little bit bigger. So higher, not bigger, but you know. We'll talk about the stuff that's going on in your channel. And if you need me to link stuff, I'm here. Okay, I'll do that. Um, uh, she, Lisa said she tried to use the link, but it was sold out. Um, they, this, when those oops come out, they go back, they go so fast. It's unreal. But it went up at like 3 a.m. It was ridiculous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, there was probably a bunch of it probably sold <laughs> way before anybody else was normal. People were up. <laughs> I'm not normal. I admit <laughs> it. <I'm not> normal. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, let's talk about. Um, uh, I'm working on. Oh, hi, Angela. I'm. Oh, hi, Angela. I think I let's see. We're doing good. Oh, thanks, Teresa. I did. It's great to see you, Shannon. I did look at Ofire and Link, and they were also. I'm telling you, yeah, yep. Um, as far as what's going on with me right now on my channel, for those of you who don't know, I am collaborating also with Heather from Strings and Threads. And we are every Wednesday each month. We're doing Battle of the Stitches, um, and um, yeah, we're doing Battle. I keep looking at the chat. We're doing Battle of the Stitches, and that's where uh, we pick a stitch at the beginning of the month. And the first Wednesday, we show the stitch and do a tutorial. And then the second and third week of the month, we work on a project using that stitch and it can't be a pattern that's already been created we are creating our own pattern with this stitch something unique that's not been made yet and so and we don't tell heather and i do not tell each other what we're making um and we work on that for the next two weeks the second wednesday we will um give a little sneak peek to what we're making the third week we will reveal what we've made and that's coming up this coming Wednesday, next week, excuse me, will be the third week. So uh, Heather and I on each of our channels will be showing our finished product of what we've made with that stitch. And then we'll be, after our video's over, we'll also be posting a 
um, poll in our, in our community tab, and you can vote for the one that you like the best. And then we will tally up all those votes. And the next Wednesday, the fourth Wednesday of the month, we will do a drawing from all the people who voted um, to win the product that had the most votes. So whether it was my project or Heather's that got the most votes, you guys get to vote on which one you like the best. And then we will do a drawing for someone to win that the one that got the most votes. Does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> I think I felt like I was blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, let's see. So that's on Wednesday. If there's a fifth Friday, it'll just give us an extra week in the middle to work on our project or a, a fifth Friday. If there's five Wednesdays in the month, that'll just give us an extra week to work on our project. So that's how that works out. So we're doing that. I have not been doing the things we're making Thursday. Um, it's Tunisian crochet. And you guys, I've tried it. I cannot get the hang of it. It's just, I don't know why it is so hard for me, but I cannot get it. So I've, I've skipped this month. But if you make something and you want me to share it for things we're making Thursday, you can email pictures and I'll share it on my Thursday video. I don't do a video on Thursday, but I'll come on and share your pictures if you send them to me. Hi Penny. Um, Hi, Penny. I'm working on my things we're making Thursday knit stitch. Oh, okay, Angela. Is that a Tunisian? I guess that would be a Tunisian stitch, I guess. Lisa, I don't know a lot Lisa about it. Lisa had a question. Will it what be is? anonymous? So we aren't aware of the designers for your collab. Will what be anonymous? I'm not understanding the question. Probably she's wondering if like you guys will post and there'll be pictures of what you make and then you won't know who made what. I'm guessing well, that's what she's doing. As we've been working on it, we have not told each other what we're making. But um, before next Wednesday, we will probably tell each other what we'll show each other our projects before we reveal it to you guys. Hmm. Um. Does and, that help you, Lisa? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't understand your question. <laughs> we, got, we got another one. Teresa, okay, I, thought, yeah. I thought you were going to show us how to make jewelry from Mary. I got, I can't, I still cannot find, I don't know what has happened to all my materials for making jewelry. I had them in a certain box. And since I've been moving things around, I cannot find I cannot find my tools. So I'm so sorry, Mary. I know you've been wanting to see that, but as soon as I find that stuff, I will be doing a video tutorial on how to do that. Um, and Lisa, when you vote next, uh, we're going to open up voting next week, next Wednesday. Oh. And so when you vote, that will be anonymous. We won't know who's voting for what because the poll does not show who, who voted. It just shows the amount of votes. And but what we were going to what we're going to need you to do so that we will have your names to do the drawing. We need you to just go into the comment section underneath the poll and say, I voted. You don't have to tell which one you voted for. Just say, I voted. That way we have your name and we can get you in the drawing. Oh, can yes. I say something? Yes. Speaking of winners and voting, the TOT contest winner has been chosen. The video will be up next week. Yay! And the prize is very exciting. Lisa, I'm just saying I'll accept bribes. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> ah, That's Love good. It. So let's see. Uh, what else? Um... Mary's so confused. How are we going to vote? I don't get it. Okay. In the community tab on my video and then on Heather's channel and on my channel, there's a community, excuse me, there's a community tab. And if you click on that community tab, you'll see where we put a post and it's going to have, um, I will just, we'll just, um, I don't know how I'll name it. I, I don't know. We'll probably just say Heather and then Teresa and you vote or we'll you'll vote that way. Or we might have the name of the project there and you vote for which project you like. 
Um, possibly it might be whatever we're making. We may have those as the two choices. And then you just vote for which one you thought you liked the best. And then underneath that poll is a comment, will be a comment section, just like on any other video. And you just comment that you voted. So we know that you made, that you voted. And then over the next week, we will tally up those votes and um, to see who's going to do the giveaway, whose project is going to be given away, and then we'll do the drawing on the following Wednesday. Does that make sense? <laughs> and let's see, do you, is it okay to bring up next month? Okay. Shannon and I are also collaborating next month. We are working on um, something that has inspired us from the Alice in Wonderland movie. Yep. So we will be announcing more about that on the first Friday of May. Which is the... Which is the third or fourth? <laughs> I can't even remember. I can't do it in my head anymore. Um, the third. Yeah, the third. Okay, good. Oh, Tina, you understand? Okay, good. Uh, yeah, the 3rd of May, we will announce more details about that. But for right now, just know we're both working on a project um, that inspired us from Alice in Wonderland. And that will be alive on my channel. Yes, on the 3rd. Yes. Yay. Um, and then we're doing another collaboration with some more ladies with a few more ladies in October and we're calling them decade divas. <laughs> There's a what five or six of us, five. And four, five. And we've chosen, each of us have chosen our own decade that we want to create something from. So that's coming in October. So lots of fun stuff happening. Very fun. I haven't told them what I'm doing guys, but my, my people who follow my channel, you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I, I picked a theme for all the decades. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hmm. Well, everybody says it sounds like fun. Oh, it is. It's going to be lots of fun. I love collaborating with other people. It, it just, I, I, I enjoy um, creating things for myself, but I also, I just really like the collaboration between people. Um, so, I've been talking a lot. Shannon, do you want to start us off with? Sure. You want to go ahead and start us off with what inspires you? Sure. And then I'll share what inspires me. <laughs> so I learned to crochet when I was 10. And I was taught by a very sweet lady in the back of a church. I knew what knitting was. I didn't know what crochet was. I just heard the term. And I saw this woman just sitting on the back of a pew using her little tool. I should uh, clarify, this was not actually church. My mom was teaching a women's class. And this lady was just in the room. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I was homeschooled, so I was there doing my homework, and then I saw this lady, and I went up to her, and I just asked her what she was doing. She said she was crocheting, and then she immediately said, do you want to learn? She pulled out a hook and some yarn, and I sat down next to her, and I still have that hook. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's how I learned to crochet. And I started doing amigurumi. It's funny because I told myself, I am never doing 3D crochet. It's too difficult. It's too weird. And why would you just make toys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's like my whole identity. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> now, I I started making amigurumi. It's funny. Um, I saw Hooked, I think it's Hooked by Robin, made a per made. And there was a video and a written pattern. And I felt like, well, there's a pattern that I can look at. I know how to read patterns. There's a pattern I can look at. And there's a video tutorial. How could I possibly be, you know, be stirred wrong? Okay. <laughs> Even if you have been crocheting for decades, <laughs> if you've never done Hamakurumi in your life, <laughs> You were very ambitious. <laughs> Pick a beginner pattern. <laughs> it turned out cute. I still have it. It's very special. It's very wonky. And y'all, this pattern, I found out later on that she classified this as intermediate hyphen advanced. 
Oh, <laughs> so much shaping, so much shaping. Oh my gosh. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, I did actually make that pattern again a few years later. I made it in blanket yarn and I gave it to um, a friend of ours and she took that thing everywhere and it was as big as her. I mean, so <laughs> anyway, um, I was inspired by shapes. Once I learned what shaping was, and I thought shaping was really cool, my friend Caroline from Sweet Oddity Art, she does shaping all the time. Um, I, I am proud to say that I am friends with Kylie from Complicated Knots, and she is beyond inspiration. I love getting inspiration from other designers. I'm not talking about stealing other people's designs. I'm talking about they make something and they make you feel like you can do it. Mm -hmm. you know? And Right. I'll be honest. I will watch people on YouTube and I will be, I will just sit there and it's like, they're creating. And it's like, I'm going to create something too. I'm not going to write it down. I'm not going to think about it being a pattern. I'm just going to create. And that's how I made Woodstock. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but I first started out with altering patterns. So I've got a few examples here. So one of my favorite books, I never shut up about this book. If you've been mm -hmm. subscribed to my channel for any amount of time, you know, the book I'm about to show Literary Yarns. Mm -hmm. I love this book. It taught me so many techniques. That is why the spine is broken on this thing. <laughs> is because it taught me so much. But in this book is Hamlet, one of the patterns. And that was the first one I made. I really was not adept at Amigurumi yet at all. I just felt like I want to make Hamlet. I love Shakespeare. So there we go. Mm -hmm. So I did. Oh, <laughs> yes. The color changes are really bad. Please give me grace. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little Yorick faces. I like it. So that was one. But because of this one, Ophelia wasn't in the book and I felt like he needed Ophelia. Mm -hmm. So I took his pattern. This is his pattern. And I just changed a few things to make Ophelia. There you go. <laughs> Cute. So I was just altering patterns. I also really love um, Crimson and Wool. I'm actually one of her pattern testers. And her doll base inspired me to make dolls from like my childhood. So I used her base, but then I just went wild and I made an entire collection of the little Winx fairies. So this is Layla. Hmm. So the base is hers and everything else I just I just went crazy. Mm -hmm. Designed myself. So, you know, even if you feel like I can't design right now, it's like, even if I'm inspired, I can't do it. You can just start by altering people's patterns just a little bit. Great example. My friend Crystal from Chronically Crocheting, man, I love her. Please pray for her, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. She made this cute little cat that I pattern tested for her. And then I realized that this cat could be so many things. So I turned mine into the Aristocats. So cute. <laughs> this is Toulouse. Yes, he's got the little paint splatter from when he scratches his chin and gets some paint everywhere. <laughs> and I just brushed him and I used puffy paint to do his little face. He moved on me. That's why his eyes are all wonky. Mm -hmm. but, but this little kitten is her pattern. All I did was brush the yarn, added a little bit of paint to make it. But you know what it is. I mean, once I told you this is the Aristocats, mm -hmm. you can picture it. So... Mm -hmm. Always start with altering patterns a little bit, whether that's changing the yarn you use, the hook you use, adding some details here and there, because you will start to inspire yourself. Mm -hmm. What you're doing will start to inspire you. And that is how I got into designing because mm -hmm. I started to be inspired. And I actually have the very first thing I ever designed. You guys want to see it? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. <clears throat> okay, there is a show. I've told this story on my channel. There is a show called My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Yes, it's a kid's show, but don't tell me it's completely a kid's show because there's a lot of adult stuff in there. <laughs> but um, not the nasty stuff, just like stuff that we would remember from our childhood. Yeah. And um, Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, I love her sweater too. So. I really wanted to make this character because it's voiced by an actor, John Delancey. I love his voice more than anything. His voice is just pristine. 
And he's a character, he voices a character on the show. At the time that I made this, there was no pattern except for one stupid little dinky one that had no detail, and then one that was like bigger than my bed. There was no medium size, so I decided I'm just gonna design it myself. It looks very strange. It's a very odd animal, okay? It's made of different animal parts. So, but anyway, this was the first thing I ever designed. Look at that. He is too cute. His name is Discord. He's a Draconicus. Don't ask. I have no idea. <laughs> He's got like lion paws and dragon feet and chicken arms and a deer antler. I don't know. He's supposed <laughs> to represent chaos, and I think that works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah. So I didn't have a pattern, so I did it myself. That's cute. That's it. Yeah. I, I get inspired by so many things. Mostly I think I get inspired by like other people. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, I think Teresa, I think you're the same way. I think we mm -hmm. get inspired by other people. I think that's why we subscribe to so many channels. <laughs> I know. It's unreal how many I've subscribed to. I, I, there's no way to watch them all. <sighs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes, yeah, he is cute. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had a friend who was a Trekkie and she introduced me to him. And as much as I'm not a Trekkie, I was like, well, if he's on it, I guess I'll watch that episode. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So I've also gotten inspired. Okay. Who hasn't gotten inspired by a crochet hook? I mean, they're so stunning these days. Even if you don't own them, like mm -hmm. the colors and stuff. Mm -hmm. I've, I've gotten inspired by hooks. I have some here. I have my Beetlejuice hook, which is amazing. I love that hook. Thank you. And, um, you know, and then, of course, I've got my Broadway bears. So that started because I love Broadway. But Build-A-Bear makes these cute little bears. This is my bell from 2017, uh, Beauty and the Beast. And that started my Broadway bear collection. So... This is Burial from The Little Mermaid. <laughs> and you guys all know my little tots. Well, that started mm -hmm. with him. I love being inspired by shapes. Shapes completely inspire me. I am an engineer's daughter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this is Timothy T. Tot. So cute. So, I mean, it started with this. And then we went to something like this. This is Dobie. <laughs> Little Dobby. Little Dobby. And then we went to Barbie. <laughs> but it kept growing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then one of the coolest things I think I've done, though, is I wasn't really, I didn't make dolls. I wasn't really good at designing yet, but I watched WandaVision, and that inspired so much. I made a Barbie dress. Not for the first time, but definitely one of the most complicated things I've ever designed. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lisa, her Pill Pal pets are so cute. Thank you. Love them. So, spoiler alert, for those of you watching, the next one will be a Highland Koo. The little hairy cows with the mm -hmm. little fur over their face. Mm -hmm. That was their suggested one, so that's the next one that will be a tutorial. So, Yay! Soon. Um. So I made these. Wanda hey, and, Ashley. and then a year later, well, ha half a year, half a year later, I made these. So now we have legs, right? And then a year later, I came back, tried it again. And there we go. Mm hmm. So love it. Don't tell me you can't improve. <laughs> yes. But I only have a few books here. I have, this book is amazing, especially if you want to design garments, design your own projects. It teaches you all about how to do your own measurements, how to design for different body types that you're not um how to gauge swatch <laughs> i don't like to gauge swatch 
<laughs> Me either. <laughs> and what yarns might be best to use. So if you don't have this book and you want to design, I kind of recommend this one. Hmm. I don't, I don't have that book. I'm going to have to check into that one. That's good. And then I'm going to show this one, not because the book inspires me, but Rocket Lauren, I, my favorite designer probably of all time is Lauren Espy. I don't know what it is, but she creates things that are just too cute for words. And this is one of her newest books. Oh, cute. But y'all, I bought this from like a clearance section on her website, but I wrote her kind of like a letter via DM on Instagram about how she inspired me and I kind of broke down and stuff. Anyway, I showed her that I was going to buy from her shop and I helped her advertise. She didn't ask me to, I just felt like it. She signed it. Mm. I cried. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was a mess. I'm so mm -hmm. glad we were not Marco Poloing when I opened that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was a mess. I was like, this is not from the sign section. I know she signed this. Like I, I was, yeah. Mm -hmm. So wow. she, she inspires me, but that's because I like to make this kind of stuff. I mean, Teresa likes to make everything. I kind <laughs> of stick to my niche of amigurumi, but I do make baskets purses, slippers. Y'all, I've made so many slippers. <laughs> there, was, there was a Christmas where everybody got slippers. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah. That's, that's what inspires me. People, yarn. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm mostly inspired just visually. I will see something, it will inspire me. Either it's the color, the shape, something. I think inspiration is kind of a tricky thing because I think it's more of a concept. Does that, mm -hmm. do, you, do, you, do you agree with that? I, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, it's, it's how you, it's what you view and how you view things. You can't, you can't teach that to somebody. That's just something that, I think it goes along with your personality. Something, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Okay, you go. So, um, <laughs> when I started to crochet, I, I would have loved to have learned from my grandmother when I was younger. Aww. But when I was able to, old enough to, she wasn't in the mental state to be able to teach me how to. And I knew she crocheted because she had doilies all over her house that she made. And I actually, I don't think I have them. I should have brought them over here. I've shown them before on my channel, but I in inherited, my sister and I both crochet. So mom divided them up, but my grandmother still crochet hooks. So when I make doilies, I use her steel crochet hooks when I make doilies. Oh, and um, so I got those, but um, I was probably... Oh my, I was probably in my 30s um, when a friend of mine taught me how to do a granny, the shell stitch, the granny shell, and how to make a blanket. That was the first thing. Y'all, that blanket was sad. <laughs> I don't have it anymore, but one edge was perfectly 90 degrees square, and mm -hmm. the other side went, <laughs> It was awful, but um, I stuck with it and I, I played around with that for a little while, but then um, life happened and children and school and I started teaching and it kind of got pushed to the side. And when I was probably, oh, I don't know, 45, something like that, mid forties, um, I picked it back up again. Uh, it was just a time where I thought, I you know, I want a hobby. I want something to do. My husband was traveling a lot for his job and so home by myself you know so I picked it back up and what happened was I had um I had met this girl she she is the one who does my nails my nail lady we've become great friends really good friends and uh, she told me she said if you want to learn how to crochet you need to watch YouTube and she told me about Mikey from the crochet crowd and so I started watching him 
And man, did I start picking it up quick. He really made, he, he had patterns that I thought I'll never in my life be able to do what he's doing. And, but I, I did one of his crochet alongs and I couldn't, he made it look so easy and he took his time with each step that I was able to make this beautiful blanket. And then I was hooked. I was like, I love this. I, this is, I'm doing this. And um, I really like making blankets. I made amigurumi for a while and I still do those occasionally, but. Uh, pattern test for me. Yeah. And um, I've done that for Shannon and I like doing amigurumi occasionally. It's not something I do all the time, but uh, here lately I've really gotten into the uh, wearables. <laughs> this hexagon cardi, I absolutely love. That was one of my first wearables I made that actually fit me. And I think I'm going to run over here real quick and get something because I think it's over here and I left it. I'll be right back. Just a second. Let's see. Let's go to the chat here. Yes, Lisa, I agree. I know. Isn't that cool? I learned to make granny squares from um, Jada and Stitches because for some reason I could not learn. <laughs> and my first granny square is a lot like her blanket sound. <laughs> I thought it was over there and it's right beside me. I do this all the time. So when I started doing wearables, um, Heather from Strings and Threads and Jess from J-Hook Magic, they started doing wearable Wednesdays. And so I started watching them and doing that. And I thought, I'm going to do this. Well, one of the girls on there, too, was Crystal from Hook That Yarn. She's awesome. She had a pattern for a top down. And she's her video tutorials on YouTube. Um the top down shirt or top, it's top down something top down sweater. I don't think it's sweater. I think it's actually shirt. Okay. But anyway, it's top down shirt and she, she made it so easy. She showed how to measure for your body type so that you could make anything. It was almost like a raglan style that starts from the top and goes down. And um, yep. Yep. Right. Lisa. And she shows you how to measure your body so that you can make a garment that fits your body type. Blew me away. So I took her measurements. She didn't give a certain um, stitch to use. She just showed you how to measure your body and how to start the top. Well, I did that. And I think her tutorial goes through a whole shirt that she did, a whole top that she made. But I ran with it and I started thinking, ooh, I bet this stitch would work. Oh, I bet this color would work. And just from that, I made my first, this is the first wearable that yes, I Lisa. designed. I haven't written the pattern yet for it. I need to sit down and write the pattern. But this is the first top that I designed. So pretty. And it has the stripes. And then at the bottom, I put, I did granny squares to, to fill in the bottom around the hem of it. And this all started from just watching Crystal at Hook That Yarn, and I used her measurements to design it. So I get inspiration from other people. Um, I get inspiration from um, magazines. Like, I subscribe to Crochet World magazine. And sometimes I will just go through, if you turn, I don't know if you guys don't just subscribe to this or not, but what I like about it is they've got every pattern right here in the back, pictures. Yep. And sometimes I will just look at these pictures and think, oh, yep, I could do something like that. And then I have, I might see a pattern or a picture of something. And then let's just say it's a, let's just say a placemat. What is, oh, oh, thank you, Lisa. That's so sweet. <laughs> um, I also had a question. It says, what is the best yarn for the Hexicardi? The best yarn, this yarn, Big Twist is what I used. 
Um, some people like to make theirs out of cotton yarns, but the big twist, if you want something really cozy and warm, that's what I go with. And that's what I made this one out of. And it, when I steam, when I steamed it, it shaped real well and it just lays real well on me. So, but yeah, it's the, the big twist is what I use and I really like it. Um, but like I might see a blanket or that somebody's made or, um, I don't know, a, a cardigan, whatever it is. And then I have this book. It, I got it from Annie's and it's 50 stitches for Afghans. But I can look, I look through it and I think, oh, that stitch might work good for this item. And so I look at stitch books to inspire me, to help me decide what stitches to use on a pattern. So I really like this one. Um, I have a, I use thrift books a lot because you can order and you get points towards free books and stuff, but they have a lot of different, um, different uh, genres of books on there and tons of crochet. You can, you type in crochet in the search on thrift books and you can find tons of stuff. Um, I go to thrift stores a lot. I love going to thrift stores because every so often you'll see booths in there and there'll be a, there'll be some kind of a, uh, of a Afghan, like from maybe the sixties or the seventies that somebody made. And I've actually gone up and did a close up and took a picture of it to save on my phone thinking, okay, I can use that in something. <laughs> I can use that stitch in something. And so I do that a lot too. I'll look, I'll just look around. And I told this to Shannon the other night, <laughs> I was talking to her about inspir when we were talking about all this. And I said, I was sitting one, I can't remember where we were, or what we were doing, but I was be sitting behind this lady and I got to looking at her top that she was wearing. It wasn't crocheted. It was just a regular blouse she had on, but the pattern in it was gorgeous. And so without her knowing it, <laughs> I took a picture of the back of her shirt. <laughs> so that's still on my phone. I haven't done anything with it, but it was just the prettiest pattern I've ever seen. I thought, I, I think I might be able to make something and crochet something with that. And so I do, but a lot of my inspiration, it's magazines, it's um, the thrift stores. Like I said, just out, if I'm out walking around looking at the trees or flowers or just things around me that I think, oh, that's a pretty pattern and I'll take a picture. I've got so many pictures on my phone of things that I see and I think, oh, that, that might work into a pretty pattern. So lots of things around me, but, um, I remember you use that now. I'm sorry for, oh, I don't know what she's talking about. Anyway, um, squirrel guys, I get distracted very easily, <laughs> but, uh, magazines are my, are a big one. Um, speaking of thrift stores, I went into one an, an antiques shop and there was a stack of books and I never pass up guys. If you do antique shopping and you're looking for vintage crochet books, if you see a stack of magazines or a stack of books, don't pass it up and think, Oh, those are just books. I have found crochet stuff hidden in, in between stacks of magazines that I didn't know was there if I hadn't gone through them. So anytime I see a shelf with books on it, or a stack of books and magazines, I, fl I go through them <laughs> because you never know it's something's going to be hidden in there. And this happened uh, a few months ago. I was in the store and there was this big stack of books and I thought, I wonder what that is. So I went over to look at it. It was crochet books from the 1980s. Guys, I have really gotten into vintage crochet. I love, and yes, I'm an 80s girl. And they are now saying that 80s is vintage. And I yet you picked the 60s. <laughs> I picked the 60s. I thought, well, I did a collaboration with the 80s with um, Jackie. Jackie, thank you, from Crochet ADHD. And so I was like, I don't want to do the 80s again. So I think that's why I picked that one. Okay. But they had a stack of like, this is volume one of like volume 15. And they had a dollar fifty on each book. I grabbed every single one of them, every one of them. And I haven't even had a chance to look through all of them yet, but some of it is sewing, but a lot of it is crochet patterns. 
And I can't wait to sit down and look at these because I saw those and I got to thinking, I'm, <laughs> I've got so many ideas of things I want to do that I don't know if I'll get to them all or not. But I'm currently working on, I typed in, I Googled um, trends, crochet trends for 2024. And then I Googled uh, trend, uh, trends for spring and summer of 2024. And that's where I found all these trends. I think we did a live not too long ago and listed all those. But mm -hmm. one of them was tropical. That's the big thing for spring and summer this year. Tropical colors, tropical images, tropical whatever. Yep. <laughs> so that's inspired me. So I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but I have I have a series of things that I'm that I'm currently working on to create patterns for that has tropical theme to it. Y'all, it's so, so cool. So I yeah, I've been wanting to dive into into creating and writing patterns and I've been really nervous and I keep talking to myself, "Oh, you can't do that. You can't do that." Don't do that to yourself, guys. Listen to me. Because once I started doing it, I surprised myself on how well I could do it, and I'm not I'm not saying that to say, "Look at me." I'm just saying I surprised myself that I could actually do it. I would and, say get yourself a support team. Honestly, if yeah. you want to start designing, you need people to keep you accountable. You need people to remind you, yes, you can. Look what you've done in the past. Yep. That one right there, people. <laughs> I I go Same. to her and ask her questions all the time. Yes, yeah, so, she does. <laughs> um, yeah, I do. And so, yeah, so I'm working on those. I've got some ideas for some blankets that I want to design. And uh yeah some other stuff <laughs> but i've got all these things going through my head so there's so much you can watching other like shannon said watching other creators and going off from what they do and what i want to do here's something else i told you i've got all this stuff i want to do i thought of something else i want to start doing too oh, when no. i get this stuff, <laughs> i know I can't, i've got a list i probably will never get all of it done but i have a list anyway but these books like these 80s um books i also have a bunch of um i got these at a thrift stop shop and somebody even sent me some of these old uh from the 70s and 80s work basket magazines but what i think i'm going to do is shannon was talking about taking a pattern and just tweaking it a little bit i want to go through these books and look at these patterns and see how i can make them more modern Mm. and upscale them to look like this time instead of back in the 70s keep you know i don't know how i'm going to do that yet but i i just want to start taking vintage patterns and just upscaling them a little bit to be more modern so uh, honestly your first step can just be colors they had yeah. color trends that they used right. back then and color trends we use now right right so yeah but that's what inspires me it's other people and just things are, I just notice things around me. So that's, that gives me inspiration. So yeah. I think and that's guys, awesome. Yeah. And you guys can do it too. If you've ever thought about creating something, just do it. Um, get your pencil and paper out and just start drawing things out oh. and start writing your ideas. Yep. Shannon is the queen of drawings. <laughs> I was going to say that reminds me. I was working on something for Halloween. See? <laughs> and I get I get so never, much slack. You never life. know what will What? I'm sorry. I get so much slack from my I think family. you Uh-oh. You're frozen. You're doing good now. It, it glitched for just a little bit, but you're fine now. Okay. All right. I get so much slack from my family because I sketch in a notebook. And so there's lines in my picture. My mom's like, we'd be a Bayou sketchbooks. <laughs> <No. laughs> yeah. I, I have to do it when I, when I think of it, I, it's like, I have to sketch now or mm -hmm. I will forget it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Now of what I'm working on now that I'm designing right now, this first pattern that I'm working on, uh, I'm finding out what really goes into designing and creating patterns. Woo. Now I'm not saying that to discourage anybody. You should really should go for it.
but it is going to take you some time. Um, it's not something you're going to do unless you're making something small. It's not, not necessarily. <laughs> it's not. Well, that's well, I guess so. Not necessarily, but it's going to take time. It's not something you're going to be able to do in a day and say, oh, I got a pattern. Here it is. Mm -mm. There's a lot that goes into it. But if you really have something that's if something is bothering you and you can't stop thinking about it, <laughs> that's telling you that you need to go ahead and do it. <laughs> so this has been eating at me for quite a while. And I finally just decided, look, if I'm going to do this, I better do it now. <laughs> so, so what's some advice you would give to people who might want to start designing? Really? Um, Start getting your ideas on paper, but then I would say talk to people who are actually doing it. Mm -hmm. Don't talk to somebody that doesn't crochet. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, well, I mean, just from my perspective, I've talked to people who don't crochet, and I've said, "Oh, guess what? I'm getting ready to design," and they're like, "You got to be kidding!" Yeah, who's gonna, who's gonna want that? You know that kind of stuff. So, yep, they don't get it. People that aren't, that aren't crocheters or knitters or whatever, they don't get it. So I would say find somebody that you can bounce ideas off of and, and talk to them. And that's going to help you tremendously. We inspire each other even when we don't know it. I mean, Teresa, yeah. Ashley, and I do it all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Um, I think I would say that the number one thing is you don't have to show anybody. Mm, if you're mm -hmm. if you're nervous and you just want to sketch something out or you just want to try it, you don't have to take pictures. You don't have to post it on social media. You don't even have to tell anybody you designed it. If you don't want to show the world, that's fine. Designing for yourself is a thing. Yeah, I design things for myself, guys. You don't mm -hmm. get patterns for them because, yeah, I may show you what they look like, but those are mine. Yeah. Those are what I made for me to feel good. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's it's a thing. Right. And you absolutely, you can do that. You can do this. If you want to do it to make money, go for it. Sell your patterns, do it. But yeah, there's a lot of people that just do it just to, just for me. Like that shirt I showed you guys, that was just, at that time, that was just something for me. I wanted to see if I could make something just for me. Um, I, I don't know. I might write the pattern up for it at some point. Yeah. Who knows? But right now that was just a me thing. <laughs> so. Um, Speaking of a me pattern, you guys want to see a sneak peek of something? Yes. I brought her. <clears throat> I love her. Here's Elfie. My alpha bear. She's based on the Broadway show Wicked. So this is the green-skinned witch. Mm -hmm. Her eyeshadow and her nose. And she's I a bit it. larger than my normal ones. I'm going the wrong way. There we go. She's a bit larger than my normal ones because um, the actresses who usually play her are taller. And Cynthia Erivo is tall in the movie, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, right, Lisa? Yeah. So cute. So cute. Yeah. Yeah. So... She's coming. The Wicked Diaries are slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another place, too, that I didn't mention that I get inspiration, too, is from I'm a big Pinterest nut. Oh, yeah. I go to Pinterest a lot just to look and see what's out there. And uh, I've heard people say, if you're going to start creating and you're going to design, don't look at anybody's patterns. Just go for it and do it. But I just I I. I like looking. I'm not copying people. I'm not doing what they're doing. I'm not copying theirs. That's not right. I'm not doing that. But I can, I look through different patterns that are on there and it inspires me to like, oh, I think I could make it do this or, you know, yeah. and make it on your own. So I, Pinterest is a, another big one that I like to use. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. So, yeah. That's what inspires me. <laughs> what What do you guys get inspired by? I mean, most of you are crocheters probably who are watching this. So what inspires you? Mm 
this is always the hard part of a live. It's like you're waiting for the comments. Yeah, so wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, I know one's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we hope somebody's going to type. <laughs> I hope so. This is, I, you know, Shannon and I love to talk, but we like to hear from you guys too. <laughs> yeah. Makes <laughs> Oh, okay, here we go, Heather. Um, Pinterest and other creators are most. Yep, yep. That's a good one, Heather. Yeah. Yep. Heather, you do paint. You do painting as well. So, does your painting ever inspire you? Just wondering. If you guys haven't been on her Instagram, she has some really beautiful other kinds of crafting. Mm -hmm. I understand the process, but oh, here I don't we go. Know the patterns. Okay. Seeing beautiful net makes, Tina. Yeah. Yep. Seeing other people's beautiful creations inspires me. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and my yarn colors were inspired by my. Oh, well, neat, scary. That's cool. Well, girl, I'm awake at that time, so text me if you need to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, usually, cool. okay, I for that. What? Yeah. I said I'm usually asleep at 2 a.m., but now that I've started designing, there's times when ah! I will, I am not kidding you, I will wake up because something, I, I don't know if I'm dreaming <laughs> or what it is, but I'll just wake up and like, oh, there's an idea. I need to keep a pad and pencil by keep my a bed. notebook by your bed. Yes. Yeah, seriously. I have to because I will wake up in the middle of the night going, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Whatever they think. <laughs> I do a lot of guided paintings. Oh. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. We're talking about what inspires us. So if you want to chime in and let us know what inspires you, that would be awesome. Hello, Penny. Yep. We're pretty much all on the same page, aren't we? I think that's pretty true for just fiber in general. Yeah, I just think we so. All get, we all get inspired by a lot of the same things. Mm -hmm. I am inspired by film a lot. I mean, my entire room is film noir. This is mm -hmm. this is my. You guys want to see it? This is my Alfred Hitchcock poster I made in high school. <laughs> I love Alfred Hitchcock. I love those movies. Y'all are still a big undertaking to design. It's inspiring to look at yarn and the yarn too. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks so much, Lisa. I I am so I'm more excited about. The moment that I can share what I've designed with you guys than anything else. No, oh, it's so hard. I've done something for this summer and it's like, I want to talk about it so bad. <laughs> oh, no, I, I am just, and I catch myself and I'll go, don't say it. <laughs> but I, because I want to share it so bad. So I cannot wait until I can share with you guys different people on YouTube videos. Yep, Angela, that's true. Mm hmm. Walking through the oh, fabric department. Yes. I haven't done that. Yes. Marie, I need to do. Oh, that's a good one. So that's true. The fabric one. is very inspiring. Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. Did it work? Yes, it worked. I hope. I really thank you, Heather, for that. I appreciate those words very much. I, I that's why I started my YouTube channel. Was Number one, I love crochet, uh, everything about it. Um, but I wanted to be able to to inspire people and make people happy. And yeah, that's why I started the channel. Yeah, that is that fabric idea. I never I don't know why I never thought to go and look at fabric. That's that's very smart. I just take pictures of people wearing fabric. Instead of going and looking at it, I just take pictures of people when they don't know it. <laughs> uh. 
Hey, Teresa, check your private chat real quick. The tab at the top. And we're oh. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh oh. Please tell me I'm not gonna lose power. <laughs> oh, oh I God. hope not. Are you still? We, the storms have finally stopped here. They stopped around four o'clock or three o'clock, <laughs> something like that. My room just flashed. Did you guys see that? I saw it. I saw that. Are you okay. guys still getting storms? Yeah. Ugh. We have. I think we still have a wind advisory too. Yeah. I, hey, let, let me know if when you guys want me to show the app. The app. Oh, yes. Yeah, whenever you're ready to, I'm fine with it. All right. Coming. They're coming back our way again, Lisa? No. Right. Yeah. I don't think we're under our wind advisory anymore, but... I was just looking on my phone to see if there was any updates. Same. We still have rain for a while. Now, why did it do that? Huh, it's showing us clear right now, but you never, like I said, you never know. Ugh. So, I have a crochet section actually on my phone. See, I created a mm. folder. Mm -hmm. And um, I forget to move this one in there. Hold on. I'm going to move that in there real quick. Right. It's in the wrong folder again. Because my phone likes to move things around on me and not tell me. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying that. My son is constantly, he went in and organized my, <laughs> all my apps for me. Yeah. Where he thought it would be better for me to find everything. <laughs> and <Yeah. laughs> he got on my phone the other day and said, Mom, I have this app in here. Why did you move it to here? I said, I'm telling you, I didn't touch it. So, yeah, I told him those things move on their own. <laughs> yeah, it's a, go it's a ghost phone. It's oh, a ghost phone. I hope it does miss me, Lisa, because I want to have a nice weekend. Anyway, what have you got? So Tell that one, right? I can't. It's backwards here. Okay. The one that says color gear. Yep. There. Okay. We're seeing it in the bottom right corner is what I'm, where I'm seeing it when All you right. hold your phone up. So this is a very boring image, but you're going to tap here. Pick an image. Let's do Desiree. She's nice and colorful. Okay. Nope. Not going to let me do that. Well, I'm obsessed with Palm Royale. Let's do their poster. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So the image will pop up and then you see all the colors that are in this poster, right? So you can select a, this is really hard to do. <laughs> you can select, a, you can select any color. I'm going to try and go for the Air Force suit here. I don't think I did. Hold on. Go down a little lower. There you go. There we go. I got him. Okay. So I'm going to hit the plus sign. And now this is part of my palette that I'm creating. So let's say I want to take colors from this, talking about inspiration, take colors from this poster and mm -hmm. make a bag or a scarf or something that's inspired by this show. I'm going to create my palette. So let me just do that real quick. Let me just make a random palette here. Just pick five or six colors. Oh, that's terrible. No. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to save it. See the save option? Then I'm going to name uh -oh. it. I'm just oh, going to okay. name it Palm Royale. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to go up here to palettes. See that? Scroll down. And there we go. So now I you can take you can take this shopping or to your yarn stash and then try to match those with your yarn. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? I, uh, Shannon, I showed, Shannon showed me this app and I've used it. I, I, I'm making a baby blanket 
for someone and they told me the colors they wanted and I used that app to, uh, I love that app. It's awesome. It's about two or $3, mm -hmm. but it's not a monthly fee. It's just a flat fee. You own right. the app. Even if your phone goes kaput and you have to get everything recharged, you don't have to pay again. I know that out of personal experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, it'll still, it'll still work. I love it. It's called Color Gear. Mm -hmm. And I highly recommend it. I'm not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was free. I wish it was free, but there, there is technically a free version, but it does almost nothing. So just, just fork over the two or three dollars. It's worth it, especially if you really like to do stuff with colors. Yeah. This is, um, I pulled this blanket out from behind me and I meant to show it earlier. I'm going to jump in and show it to you guys real quick. But this is another one. Um, we live very close to uh, a state park and a huge lake. And I absolutely love it there. It's beautiful. And so our, our state park, our lake is what inspired this blanket. And I have a pattern written. I need testers. <laughs> If anybody wants to test, but I call it my lake Rachel. shore. Is it going to work? Yes, oh. Rachel, I'm sending you oh. hearts. <laughs> um, but it's called, I call it the lake shore blanket because, and I used, Karen, I, I used Karen simply soft, but these are, these pop, the popcorn or the popcorn stitches, I guess you'd call them that puff stitches. I can't think of the name. I'm do drawing a blank. It's not popcorn. What's the other one? Bobble. Bobble. Thank you. That's what I was trying to think. I couldn't think of the name. But the bobble stitches represent the pebbles on the shore of the lake. And then I did the long wave stitch. I can't get my direction right. I know. It's so weird. Yeah. I did the long wave stitch for the waves of the water. So I did the waves in the middle. And I did the uh, bobble stitch for the petals on each end. So that I was inspired with that blunt to make that blanket from our lake. That's so, beautiful. Yeah. So what's the stitch you used in the middle to do this? The waves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's called a long wave stitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's what it's called. <laughs> It's called the long way. Yeah. Um, I have that stitch. Uh, Nikki from Nikki's homemade. Nicole Riley from Nikki's homemade crafts. She yeah. has a tutorial on that stitch, and I thought, well, that'll work. So, it's beautiful, and it really does. You do um, see that it's you, water. Mm hmm Yeah. So I and I I thought the I thought the colors really resembled water. So. Yeah. So that that's that was uh, an inspired project. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Um, Lisa, okay. I'll just put this plug out here real quick. If you want to test this blanket, I've been talking about it for a while now. Send me an email. I got it. Um, okay, Shannon's going to put my email in the chat. Um. But shoot me an email and I will send you the um, I will send you the link to the pattern. Or I'll just send you the pattern. Thank you, Lisa. That's awesome. Yay. Anybody else that wants to test this for me, send me. I will tell you while I'm on here, I'll just go ahead and tell you. Um, the only problem that I have are the not really a problem. I guess the hardest part I get to say for me was when I went from the wave to the bobble stitch, I had trouble figuring out exactly how to make this straight across so I could go into the bobble stitch. So that part of the pattern probably needs to really be paid attention to. And you're probably going to have, I would love it if you could tweak that. If it, if it doesn't make sense to you, how you could tweak that to make it more sense, make more sense. Mm. Well, Cause I, I really struggled with that part of the pattern. So that may be a part that needs to be tweaked a little bit, but that's why I need a tester. <laughs> Testers are really useful guys. I don't yeah. know if you saw my video about pet peeves, 
But the people who just put their patterns out there just to have them out there and you can tell they've never had a tester in their life. It's yeah. so frustrating. Yes. Yes. I don't like that. I, you know, if it, if I get a hold of a pattern that has a bunch of mistakes in it and can't follow it, I, I'm done with it. So I will never put a pattern out until I get it tested first. I just won't. So. But yeah, the guy careful, wants a lot of those free ones on Ravelry. Those can be really. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, you guys got any questions for us? Yeah. Any questions or anything you want to talk about? We are Maybe. here. <laughs> yep. I ran out of something to drink. I don't have any more. No. <laughs> I didn't get a big enough glass. I don't guess. Okay, bye, Heather. Oh, bye, Heather. See you later. Uh, is Tina still on here? I think so. What? Oh, Lisa, what made y'all decide to YouTube? What made us decide to start our channels? Um, just for me, the community, I am a people person. I like having people around me <laughs> and I like talking to people and just, I'm a bit, like I said, big people person. And so, um, I decided to start doing this because I just love crochet so much and I just wanted to share it and I wanted to get to know other crocheters. So that was my big reason for starting my channel. I started mine because of people like Llama Mama Kayla and Crystal at Chronically Crocheting. I was going through a really hard time with my health. I still am, let's be honest. But um, basically it was like, well, if these people can do this, then so can I. And I loved how they made me feel in the audience. Like I felt heard. I felt seen. I felt accepted. Mm -hmm. And I felt like, Oh my gosh, these people get yeah. it. And look how much fun they have while they're doing it. And I wanted to be that for other people. I wanted, that's why I want my channel to be very bright and happy. And yeah, we talk about tough stuff, but sometimes we have to talk about tough stuff because this is our life. This is what we right. go through 24 seven. There's no break. No, mm -mm. there's no break for a spoonie. That's why it's called chronic. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that was another reason too, because I had to stop teaching because of my trigeminal. Um, I was having so many attacks that I just couldn't be, I couldn't do my job. I couldn't be there like I needed to be for the kids. And so that's why I had to stop teaching and I needed something to do. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, I watched my grandkids and till they all moved off and, um, I, I just wanted something to do. And I knew crochet was what crochet gave me something to do. But like I said, I wanted to be more part of a community. So yeah YouTube, youtube was that community so i've made so many wonderful friends and actually i made a lot of them before i even started my channel which was cool uh, my friend nova nova gnome creations if she mm -hmm. hadn't have tagged uh, Teresa in one of her videos i never would have met Teresa. so <laughs> it's so cool the yeah. little connections you can make from yeah. person to person that's what i love about youtube too because never in my life did i think i would get over a thousand subscribers I know. I'm so happy for you. I thought, oh, I'll get a hundred. Maybe if I get a hundred people, whatever. I mean, you know, <laughs> I was really. 2000, 2000 for Teresa. Let's make that a hashtag. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but I never in my, I never thought in, but that's what got me there was being in this community and everybody, this community of crocheters and craft, well, just crafters in general. It's not like trying to one up another person. We're trying to help inspire each other. Mm -hmm. And, and that's how my channel has grown because of everybody sharing. I share people's channels out. They share my channel out. We help each other. And that, I think to that is just awesome. Yes, Lisa, it is. A, it is. Yes. Do y'all know that she, uh, Shannon made the Dobby and then she, she helped me get to the thousand by telling everyone that when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'll share the pattern with you. 
It was a bribe. It was a <laughs> well, guess what? It worked. <laughs> it worked. Can I tell them about the next one? Sure, if you want to. It's your, I mean, it's your idea. I mean, she's working on something for me right now that is so stinking cute. I can't even tell you. It's not a tot. No, it is not. It is not. It has nothing to do with tots. But she's working on something else for me. And when when Critters Crochet gets to 2,000 subscribers, she will reveal the pattern for that one. So. And it correlates with something she's made, which is pretty dang cool. Uh, Tina Stallion. I told you this face to face the other day. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you take the leap of faith and just get out there and do it. You can. Just you, talk, just talk to a friend. Just make yeah. it real, real easy going and pretend the camera is a friend. Exactly. Exactly. Good advice, Shannon. Exactly. Because I'll I'll be honest, I was never, I was a backstage person. I did theater, yes. I've been on stage, it's true. But I did stage managing, tech, um, prop master. I did all that kind of stuff. I actually did write a few scripts. I, I loved behind the scenes. And I okay. never in my wildest dreams wanted to be in front of a camera. Yeah. But I decided to go for it. Mm -hmm. And I did use some of my acting chops in there. And occasionally you'll see that creep into my videos and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'm just having fun with it. Yeah. You know? Yep. I am too. I absolutely love it. Brandon, that is awesome. I just read your comment. Um, it's it's just, I, I, I have met you. people. Yeah. I've met people on this channel that I would never have known otherwise. Mm-hmm. And I told this to Tina. I've talked to Tina about this and uh, others, but, and I think I may have said it on my channel. I'm not sure, but I, it is eating at me. I want, I wish we could have some kind of a retreat where we could all get together a weekend where we just bring your yarn and all your notions and sit down and just crochet and talk. I want to do that in the country. <laughs> yes. I want to do that so bad. I cannot even stand it. Uh, There's some really uh, pretty places around where I live. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Paris. It's called Paris Landing State Park. Just down the road. I'm like 10 minutes from it. And they have. It's beautiful. And they have some of the most nice. They have beautiful little cabins. And just and they have a new lodge that they just built down there that is gorgeous. I I want to do it so bad I can't stand it. <laughs> yep, I want to I do it so bad. What, Shannon? I'm I sorry. I want to go to one of those stitches. The yes, the, those things. I want to go to one of those. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do too. Just to meet. I I met up with Tina. Has that been two weeks ago, Tina, or was that last week? wasn't too long ago. Maybe it was just a week ago. Anyway, Tina and I got to meet in person and that was awesome. We had the best time. We went yarn shopping. We had lunch. It was just so much fun. And I want to do that with more of you guys. I want to meet you guys face to face so bad. I just, I, that is my big dream goal that I want to have happen. You girls make it sound easy to uh, make your channels. <laughs> No, I mean, it, it takes some thinking to, to come up with your content. It does. You you have to put some thought into it. It's and work. It, does, and it takes plans. <laughs> you have to plan. I'm not going to lie about it. It takes planning. It takes thought. But it's fun. And you can you can so do it. You can so do it. For a little over a month, I got real sick. Doing better. Oh, oh Brandon, I'm so sorry. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm glad you're doing better. Yeah, I thought I was having another TN flare up the other day. Yeah, you scared me. <laughs> oh, I really want, well, my face, my right side, it's on my right side. And yeah. it started puffing up. That's one of the signs. And then another one, I was like little spiders crawling up the side of my face. And Woo! I was like, 
I wasn't hurting, but I was getting those little tingly little zaps. Mm. And I thought, oh, please, not now. I do not. <laughs> I mean, no time is a good time, but especially right now. <laughs> and um, yeah. And I thought, no, 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 no. And um, I'm a part of a Facebook group for trigeminal people with trigeminal. And there was a guy on there and it was crazy how this was happening. And I got on there and he said, are you guys, is this eclipse thing sending your nerves on edge? Is anybody else out there just <laughs> now? I don't know if it is the eclipse or not, but I hadn't been having any issues till then. I believe it was. But um, he said that what helped him was clove essential oils. And I looked through my essential oils and I had some. And so I rubbed the clove oil on my cheek and up on my forehead and I went to bed. I laid down at seven o'clock the other night and didn't wake up till seven o'clock the next morning. And it, the puffiness was gone. And I was like, oh, thank you. Because <laughs> I really thought I was going into another episode, but it, it, it finally chilled out. So. Yes, ladies. I think it was. I, 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 to I told her so. I was like, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So it was just crazy. My daughter went to the Memphis Zoo with her son and nephew. And they went Monday to the Memphis Zoo. And they had a whole eclipse thing going on at the zoo. So they went and she said it was the craziest thing. She told me, she said, everything, when that eclipse got to totality, everything you could hurt a pin drop in that whole zoo it was she said it was almost creepy yeah, <laughs> that it sounds creepy <laughs> got real quiet just nothing and then all of a sudden you started hearing some of the night the nocturnal animals you started hearing hearing them going crazy and she said but it was the weirdest thing <laughs> peaceful yeah yeah, I, I, I've been pushing myself, but I've got things I need to get done. <laughs> so I had to. <laughs> this is the problem you will face as a YouTuber. All of a sudden you will think, okay, I have a plan and then be inspired and do more stuff and realize you have no time for it, but it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> you're going to do it anyway. Because you're going to you make your list go like this <laughs> instead of like this. <laughs> <sighs> We yeah. do this to each other all the time. It's like, what do you mean you have a new project? Like, well, I really want to start it. Yeah. <laughs> but see, here's the thing. Here's the thing with me. I can't work on one thing and then just work on that one thing until it's done. No. I have to, I have at least five things going, at least. Sometimes six, but mostly five. <laughs> but I get I get bored. <laughs> It's like that squirrel, you know, I can't stay. So I get bored with something. So I have to move on to this one and then I'll go back to the other later. It's just, I have to have more than one thing going. This is why I make tiny things. I get, mm -hmm. I get accomplished quickly and I'm happy about it. <laughs> I started with this one that I'm working on now. I started thinking that I started thinking, what have I done? I should have thought of doing something smaller. And then I thought, no, you wanted to do this. You're going to stick to it and get it done. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. It's going, you, it's going to drive you nuts if you don't sit there and just do it. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah. Hi, Tracy. I have at least 25 or more projects that I want to start knowing I can't kills me. I oh, understand gosh. exactly, Tina. I am right I there. You. We we know exactly. <laughs> My friend Rachel that was in the chat, she gave me an idea and I love her for it. But at the same time, I'm like, why? Why did you do this? <laughs> I still love you. <laughs> uh, so now it's like I'm I'm planning the cal. I have a collaboration with you, with Alea, with Sonnet all in october mm. and then i have decade divas i have a crochet along that i'm supposed to do in september oh wow and yet there's like 50 more things i want to do oh yeah and let's not forget these things that are going to take me all year mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> well i've got what i'm what i'm working on now for patterns then i have another idea for some i told y'all blankets patterns that i want to start working on 
Um, Nikki's Homemade Crafts is doing a year-long Christmas blanket. And yes, I dove into that one. And I'm so two months behind. <laughs> so beautiful, though. It's gorgeous, but I'm two months behind. I'm trying to catch up. Um, and then I've got friends of mine whose daughters are now old enough and that they've married and they're having babies. So it's like every time I turn around, it's another baby blanket. <laughs> like, I'm not going to get done with anything. <laughs> what if you made like a baby blanket stash? Like, just have some. I should do that. I really should. The way things are happening, I guess I should do that. And I might now that I'm, you know, wanting to design some. I probably will have before too long. Huh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask a dumb question, Shannon. Okay. How are you getting the hearts showing up on your screen? Doing that. Are you, does that only work for like the iPhones or whatever? I'm on my computer. Try it. Leave it up there for a bit. Is it working? Nope. Oh. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> I was looking. I thought, where's the heart that I can click on? <laughs> Aww. Tracy's doing the mosaic uh, Christmas blanket too. I'm on the April or March section with the hearts. And I'm about halfway done with the hearts. And then I can start the, well, no, wait a minute. Oh no. Was the deer the um, February Am I still here? I see you. I hear you. Okay. My computer does this thing where it likes to turn on do not disturb. I don't know why. Oh. I just want to make sure I'm still here. <laughs> oh, Lisa, I'm so sorry you're not feeling well. I'm glad you came on tonight, though. This is from both of us. Love, love, love. Even though my hearts won't show up, you get this one. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, thank you for coming. All right. I'll look for your email, Lisa. Thanks so much. Hope you feel better. Oh, she send it, she's sending her. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yay. Hey, guys, hit the like button, by the way, so that Teresa gets credit for this. Yes. All the more likes, the better. Um, Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, Lisa, you are the sweetest. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. Tracy, the second set of deer is after the section after the... Oh, okay. Um, I haven't done... I've not gotten to that one yet. I'm on the... I'm on the hearts right now. And I can't remember what the April section is. But it is pretty. I can't wait to get it done. It is really pretty. I love you, YSM. Mwah. Bye, Lisa. Okay. Whew. Well, it's been an hour and a half. Do you got? Is there anything else you guys want to talk about or or ask about? I mean, we're here at the same time, which is kind of rare. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I have not had an episode yet. Yay! I know. I was prepared for it, but it's yeah. like. And that'd be so bad if it happened during the live, but yeah, we talked about that. I'm glad you didn't. Yay. I think Heather and I are talking about doing this because she has StreamYard. So Yay. I think, we're, I think we're going to do this, um, not next Wednesday, but <laughs> the last Wednesday of the month when we actually do the drawing, I think we're going to come on together. That's fun. Do that. We're, we're still trying to figure out how to do that or, you know, how we're going to play all that out, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So this is fun. I'd love to do this again with you if you yeah. ever want me. Otherwise, I'll just be the little moderator. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be I'll be with you on the third of May. Mm -hmm. Like this. So yeah, anytime we want to do this is great. I've enjoyed it. So well, guys. Um. Oh, Heather, not crochet related, but where do y'all think my bedroom TV remote went? I can't find it. <laughs> um. Hmm. Between <laughs> between the headboard oh. and the base. So many options here. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Yeah. 
under your pillow <laughs> between the headboard and the little base of the mattress that little oh yeah Angela, I've enjoyed being in your live chat. Good night, y'all. Stay safe. Oh, good night, Angela. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, I thought of that too, Tracy. I almost said at the foot of the bed under the covers. <laughs> I lose more socks that way. Yep. And it's so yeah. weird. It's only one sock. I only ever lose one sock. And you take both of them off under the covers at the foot of your bed. No, I'm wearing I mean, I, two socks and when I wake up, I'm wearing one. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking because what I do, I'll go to bed with socks on, but then I get too hot. So I, I take both of my feet yeah. like this and I get them mm -hmm. off. But then I can sometimes I only find the one sock. Where did the other one go? <laughs> it ran away with the spoon. <laughs> my husband's socks do that. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Becca. Thanks for being with us. She thinks a kid ran away with it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, that's what happens in the dryer. The dryer eats them or there's little sock fairies running around or something. I don't know what it is. Sock fairies. I, oh, I lose more socks. Yeah. I don't know where they go. Hey, are your, well, grand, are your grandkids excited for the 30-minute bluey? The 30 minute bluey or 28 minutes technically oh is that what it's going to it's, i didn't know that it's a special episode it's their hundredth episode oh i i hadn't heard anything about it so yeah but i am sure that wyatt my middle grandson i'm sure he has because he's all about bluey but he hasn't said anything <laughs> Thank you both for doing this. So much fun. Loads of info and so much fun. Oh, good, Penny. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. That's so sweet. So sweet. If you guys, um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to Shannon and I. Um, we would love to have you on our as our subscribers. And share this, share this uh, video out with your friends. Let them know all about Critters Crochet and the Spoonie Stitcher. Yeah. We would really appreciate it very much. Let's get Teresa to 2K. 2K. <laughs> okay, what was the hashtag again? Two. You said something that was rhymy, but I can't remember how it was. <laughs> I think it was just Teresa to 2K. Oh, I thought it was a rhymy something. Maybe it wasn't. No. Tracy wants to know what bear is beside you. This one? This is Burial. She is um, based on the Broadway version of The Little Mermaid. And I'm doing it the wrong way. There we go. So she has a skirt with leggings because on stage, this is seaweed. There's a tail attached. I have it. I just don't have it attached. There's a tail. And this is to cover the actor's legs. And they have rollerblades. Well, cute. So, but yeah, this is Burial. <laughs> and then... I started Elphaba. I love it, Ashley. Critter Crochet. How about Road to 2K? Yes. So I'm already yes. at 1K. I'm already yes, at 1K. Critters Crochet. Road, road to 2K. 2K. I'm type I am typing it. I am typing it. Critters Crochet. Road to 2K. Hey, I like it. Woo woo. <laughs> Big time giveaway when I get there, too, guys. So I've already been putting, I've already been putting things aside. <laughs> so I do have a little stash. So, um, yeah. So big giveaway when I get there. And my three K giveaway is going to be hidden in one of my videos. So you got to watch Ooh, my video. Gotta watch. Gotta watch. Well, guys, if there's nothing else, there's a few that have left. Um, so if there's nothing else, I guess we'll call it a night. I really, really appreciate Shannon coming on with me. Mwah, 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 mwah. Love you. And I appreciate all of you guys being here. I love you too. This These channels would not exist without you guys. So we really appreciate it. And thank you so much for the support. Um, and have a good night. Thank you so much for inviting me. It was fun. You're welcome.
we got to do it again. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. And I will see you. Let's see. This is, I will see you tomorrow. Um, I guess for just some little whips or things that whatever comes to mind. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow yet, but we'll see. <laughs> I've got a video coming out Saturday. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I'm, uh, it'll be an early morning because I'm heading to my daughter's um, tomorrow afternoon. And so I will see you guys. Oh, look, Tracy. Critters Crochet, Road to 2K. Yeah. That's it. Yay, love it. All right, see you guys later. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.